Hi guys. Uh, we are going to start with the third session on the modulus topic. In the last two topics we have seen, in the last two videos we have seen the definition of the modulus, the two basic approaches. And in the last video, we have particularly seen how to deal with the distance approach. In this particular video, we are going to learn solving modulus equations using the math definition approach. Okay, so once you understand the two approaches, you decide which is better for you and practice based on that approach. Right? Well, so the second way is what we're going to look at, which is the definition approach. Now, if you remember the definition, uh, before I go on to the question, I'll just help you remember the definition. Mod X definition is X. So you write whatever is inside as it is. If you know that X is non-negative, if you know that what is inside is negative, you put another negative sign in front of it and write it. This is the definition, right? We have discussed in the very first video. So we're going to use this approach now. Right, so if you look at the question, which is mod x minus six plus mod x plus four equal to 10. Now our entire number line should first be divided based on the boundary conditions, boundary conditions, or these are called as the points of interest. Now, how do we get these points? Just for you to uh, refresh your memory from the last video, equate each value inside the modulus to zero. So your x can be six or x can be minus four. These two will be called as your uh, uh, boundary points, okay, or the points of interest. So these points divide your entire number line into three regions. What are the three regions? This is the first region to the right side of six. The second region is in between six and minus four. And the third region is to the left of minus four. So we will search for our X in these three regions now. Okay. That's our objective. So let's start with the first region, understanding the first region where X, we are trying to look at X to the right side of six. Okay, so please remember, what is our region? Our region is X, which is to the right side of six. Okay, so here we're directly dealing with X. There is no more distance for us. Okay. Uh, yeah, so if I can, right. So in this case, now, what we have to understand is when you take X in this region of X greater than or equal to six, observe what happens to your modulus. Both of these will always be positive in that region, right? When X is greater than or equal to six, you can see that X minus six and X plus four will never be negative. They'll always be non-negative. Now, I'll give you a blind rule for those of you who are getting confused. You understood the region, right? Take any one number in this region. Let's say I take 10. Let's say I take 10. Substitute what happens when X is 10 in this. So you'll get four. So it is positive. And here, if you put X as 10, you'll get 14, which is also positive. So you substitute one value and you will notice what is happening. And if it is true for one value, it will be true for all the values in this region. It will be true for all the values in the region. So this is somewhat similar to, not exactly, it is somewhat similar to the tick and cross method that we used uh, in inequality. So if you guys are unaware of it, look at my inequalities video. Uh, but there also we discussed, if something is true for one value in a region, it will be true for all values in the region. That's the same concept you're using here. So you check for one number, and you'll notice that this X minus six is positive. And now I will use the definition. What is my definition? If inside is positive, write it as it is. No need of a modulus. So I'll write it X minus six. What about the second modulus? Here also, I know this is positive in my region of X greater than six. So this is also positive. So I will write as it is. So my equation becomes two X, or this gives you two X equal to 12 or X equal to six, X equal to six. And you can see that six is the boundary point itself. Six is the boundary point itself. So you got one answer in the region of minus four to six, sorry, six and above. You got one answer six to above, but your job is not done. We search only in one region. We will now go and search in the second region. 
What is the second region? The second region is this area between minus four to six. Now you need to understand what happens to these moduli or moduluses, plural, uh, if X is between minus four to six. Once again, when you're in doubt, when you don't know what is happening to them, take any number in this region. Let's say I take X equal to zero. It's easy for me. That's why. When you take X equal to zero, you will see that this is negative. The first value X minus six becomes negative, but the second value remains positive. The second value becomes positive or remains positive, which means if you want to write the equation without the modulus, you will write it as minus of X minus six plus X plus four equal to 10. Now, why is this minus coming? Because I know now that X minus six in this region is always negative because if it is negative for one number, it will be negative for all the numbers in that region. So I would, according to my definition, if something inside the modulus is negative, I'm supposed to write it as minus of that particular value. That's the definition. So minus of X minus six, and this gives you, or gives me minus six plus six plus X plus four equal to 10. This gets canceled and I'll get 10 is equal to 10. What is the meaning of 10 equal to 10? This means that any X I take, now this is very important. You will come, if you get something equal to something and it is valid, like 10 equal to 10 or five equal to five or four equal to four. It means you can see the logic is X is getting canceled in this region. So it doesn't matter where X is anywhere. You take X, it will be valid. Any X you take, it is valid guys. That is the meaning. When you get a valid expression like this, the meaning is, X can be anything in that region. So there are infinite X's. There are infinite X's. X can be 1.5, X can be 2.5, X can be 3.5, 1.46, any of these or negative 1.25 and so on and so forth. Anything you take, it is true. That is the second region. So we got one answer as six and then you're saying there are infinite answers in this region. Let's go to the third region and see what happens. If you're looking at the third region, that is this particular area. In this region, now observe what happens to each moduli. You take, let's say X is minus 10. Take a number X is minus 10 and see. Minus 10 means this is negative and this is negative. So you're supposed to write the equation as minus of X minus six, minus of X plus four is 10. Or you will get minus two X, uh, this is six minus four minus plus two equal to 10, or you will get X equal to, um, yeah, this is eight by two minus four X is minus four. So you can see that minus four is supposed to be an answer, but we all, we already counted minus four because in the previous region, we saw any X between minus four to minus uh, plus two plus six, any number is accepted. So minus four is already counted. There. You can count it here, but it doesn't really matter because you are talking about what is the value of X minus four all has already been counted once. Okay. So this is how we get your values of X using the definition approach. Now we have done it in three regions. Nothing else is left for us. So the question ends here. So ideally the answers are minus four to six, both closed. I explained the meaning of open bracket and closed bracket in my inequalities video. So the answer is minus four to six. There is no other extra answer. This is your answer. Let's take another example to understand this better. So we have in the previous case taken in a slightly non-standard format for the distance approach. So here, and we saw that we have to make a small change there to work with the distance approach under this definition approach, nothing changes. You will just continue with the same logic. Uh, what we did till now, it is, you don't have to modify anything. You just equate this to zero, your X is seven by two. You equate this to zero, your X is minus five, right? Seven by two is three by five or 3.5, sorry. So you will get your two boundary regions as 3.5 and negative five. Once this is done, you have three regions. The first region is X is greater than, uh, yeah. The first region is where your X is here. In this region, just take any one number put it in the modulus and see what is happening. Let's say I take X as 10. So you can see this is positive. This is positive. So I can write my equation without the modulus sign. 
it becomes 3x minus 2 equal to 10. I'm just taking out the modulus and writing it directly. So this becomes x equal to 12 by 3, which is 4. Now you have to verify, is 4 in my region? Yes, 4 is in my region. See, sometimes what happens is you will get an answer, but you might get x equal to 2. See, when you are searching in this region, 2 is to the left of this region. So you cannot accept 2 then. You cannot say 2 is your answer. So you have to be careful in this approach. The carefulness, why is it required is what you are getting. What you're getting here, this is very important. What you're getting should be in the region you are checking. Should be lying in the region that you are checking. Only then you can accept it. So X is 4. If you remember in the distance approach also, we got X as 4. You, we got A equal to 1 and X as 4. Right? Now we will look at the middle region. Okay, let's say X is here. Which means, now what happens to the moduli? Take X equal to 0 and substitute. This will be negative and this will be positive. So the first modulus will be written as minus 2x plus 7 because you are multiplying with a negative. And the second modulus will be written as it is because it is still positive. So this becomes minus x plus 12 equal to 10 or x equal to minus 2. Oh, sorry, x equal to plus 2. x is equal to 2. Now x equal to 2, is it in the region that I am checking? Yes, it is in the region that I am checking. Hence, I will accept it. If you remember, we had these two answers coming in the distance approach also. It, it Obviously, it should be the same. You can't get a new answer here. Right? And the last case is in this region. When x is in this region, take x as minus 10. You will realize that this modulus becomes negative and this becomes negative. So, according to the definition, you're supposed to write it as minus of 2x minus 7 minus of x plus 5 is equal to 10. Or you'll write this as minus 3x plus 2 equal to 10 or x equal to minus uh, 10 minus 2 is 8 by 3. Now, before you accept it, check. Does minus 8 by 3 lie in your region? What is this? Minus 8 by 3 is minus 2, 2 by 3. So 2, 2 by 3 is here, somewhere here. This is not in the region. This is not in my region. This answer is rejected. You can't accept this. So you have only two answers, x equal to 4 and x equal to 2, which is the same answers that you got in the distance approach also. So this entire process is called as block uh, breaking of the modulus because what did you exactly do? You wrote the equation again and again without the modulus sign. So you're breaking down the modulus. So the approach is called, It's all, you can call it as a definition approach or sometimes it is also called the breaking of the modulus. Right, friends? So this is how you deal with modulus questions uh, using the definition approach. Okay. So in the, in the coming classes, coming video, we're going to look at other types of questions. So we now know how to solve equations. We now know how to solve equations. Right? Now, one small point which I want to say is don't get confused if you have x here. Instead of 10, let's say you have x. The process doesn't change. Your boundary points will still be 3.5 and minus 5. In, the, in this region, your x will still be 2x minus 7 plus x plus 5 equal to x. Now, this x will never change. It will be written as it is because there is no modulus. So, when there is no modulus, x will be written as it is. Don't change it. And then you will get a new answer here. x will get cancelled. You will get x equal to uh, 2x equal to 2 or x equal to 1. But can it be accepted? No, because 1 is here, which is to the left side. But I am looking at 3.5 and above. So, rejected. So even if there is an expression here in terms of x, don't worry. The process remains the same. Instead of 10, you will just keep it as, as it is as x and that x will never change. Some of you in the beginning will keep changing the sign of this x. Sometimes you write plus x, sometimes you write minus x. That should not happen. Without modulus, whatever is there will always remain as it is. Just like your 10 never changed because 10 didn't have a modulus and it remained as it is. Similarly, your x, if it is there, or any expression of x it is there, it is going to remain as it is in, uh, in whichever region you're looking at. It will not change. With that note, guys, uh, we have come to the end of this particular topic. I hope you enjoyed and learned it. In the next video, we're going to take up some additional questions, some different types of questions. 
dealing with maxima minima how to find maxima in a modulus how to find the minimum in a modulus expression thank you guys see you in the next video